do a video because we get so many questions around what we feed our pets and it's delivery day so we've just had an arrival of all of our pet food and our cupboard is looking full so I thought I would uh, give a bit of an overview and then show like portion size and bowls and whatnot that we use um so I thought I'd just go through everything so I've got something to refer to as well so um about a year ago I contacted Applause because I was obsessed with their brand anyway. We were using it every day. I just learned all about different types of dog food and how much uh, is packed in and different types of ingredients they use for your standard like high street type brands. And that's where um, I switched over to Applause where it was all natural ingredients. Um, and I've been working with them now for about a year or so over on Instagram. And I thought I just wanted to do a bit of a feature on everything that we do and everything that we feed them on our YouTube channel. So if you do want to keep watching, then please stay. What time is it? What time is it? Is it dinner time? <laughs> okay, you wait there. Wait there, I'm coming. Okay guys, so today's video, I thought I'd do a doggy food um, video because we get those questions on it. So um, we feed, well, doggy and cat actually, sorry, mine is dinner tray here as well. So we feed um, all of our pets applause, uh, pet food, and they go through, this is the large ticket, this is a small pack, this is what we take camping with us, but they go through 30 kilograms of this a month, um, of the dry kibble, and then we also give them one can of wet food that they share between them, um, once a day so that's what they'll have for their like main meal and then they'll just have a little bit of dry kibble at night and then in terms of bowls Nico's just got a normal small bowl um, and Phil has got a slow feed bowl so he eats his food I don't think he really chews it to be honest um, so this has been a massive help in um, stopping him inhaling everything um, and then what we also do for the dogs, for Nico anyway, is we do CBD oil. Um, so she gets a couple of drops in that in the morning, uh, just to try and keep her a bit calmer. It does help a little bit, not massively, but a little bit with her um, keeping calm and less anxious when she's out on walks. Um, and then Milo has just his dry applause kibble. He has tuna kibble. And then he has a tin of the tuna wet food in the morning one a day and he he grazes he always has dry food down um, but the other thing i wanted to mention is we do these as treats so these are like pure this one's beef loin and this one's a tuna loin technically they say cat treats but we give them to all the pets as they're just completely natural it is literally just a tuna loin but what i do with these which is a bit unusual is i put them in the uh, freezer, can I find them anywhere? Yeah, here we go. I freeze them. And then they're like ice, tuna and ice lollies for the dogs. Not for Milo, Milo has them normal. But I keep a couple in the freezer and then on a really hot day, they'll have a tuna loin as a treat. Um, and then the other thing that I do is um, occasionally, instead of like ice cream and everything else, I make the dogs some uh, ice lollies. So I've got this ice cube tray off ebay it was only a couple of pounds um and i put some natural yogurt in it and a bit of all natural peanut butter um and that makes a nice little ice lolly for them for the summer months they don't get this every day this is like a weekend treat um, and they don't get the tuna loin every day <laughs> again that's just a treat but they're like good frozen bits to have prepped and on hand for when you need them so i'll just prep all of this and then i'll show you what it all looks like Okay, so that's everyone's um, food is ready. So this is the tuna, get it to focus, tuna filler for Milo. Um, and this one is, what have we got in this one? I think it's beef and chicken. Beef liver with chicken and vegetables for the dog. So that's just one can between two of them. Um, and what you might find that is quite surprising, which we always get questioned, is how much we feed them. So they get two portions of this a day, but it's only half a cup. That's what's in these bowls of drag food. And then the rest is just half of that tin. And that will just happen um, once a day. And then in the evening, they'll just get the cup of kibble and nothing else. 
Um, and then I'll just give Nico her CBD. So you just pop that over. And that's her CBD. And that will be their dinner. So I'll just give it to them now. Ready? This one's for Nick Nack. Yes, <laughs> sit. Good girl. There you go, baby girl. Phil, you ready? Will you sit down? Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit down. Don't cheat. There you are. And then we have my little. My little sis. Our um, fully stocked cupboard full of applause and CBD. <laughs> and yeah, that's everything. So I'll just pop this in the freezer and then that'll be ready for them for the weekend. Smell it. And he's up. Where's it, baby? Um, and guys, I know it's a bit weird feeding your cat on the kitchen worktop, but the dogs steal his food wherever else it goes. We haven't got anything that's quite as wide and as tall as our worktop to save him. Um, so food is prepped over there, not near where Milo gets to go. And that's where he gets to go, but he does get near, near the clean cutlery, which is a bit weird, but it's what works for us. So anyway, that's what we feed them. Um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys soon.